Hello and welcome to the 55th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at alerts. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Alerts provide a way to display contextual feedback to the user based on their actions. So for example, if the user tries to sign in using an account that doesn't exist, you could display an error alert. But if the user just isn't activated, for example, so their account actually exists, you could display a warning alert. One, they look slightly different and two, it's, it's feedback to the user as well, so they know what is happening. So, let's just show you how to implement it, like extremely easy, as uh, pretty much everything in Bootstrap. So let's open up Bootstrap in a text editor, or your HTML file I should say. And then what we're going to do is, below the row, we're going to be adding our alerts. We're going to show you the success alert, the info alert, the warning alert, and the danger alert. And they have style applied to them built into Bootstrap, so we don't have to do any CSS or anything. So, we're not going to put them in the row or the columns, but as an extra task, we want to put them in there and see how they react. So, what we're going to do is do div class equals alert, and then for the styling, you do alert dash, well, the type, we're going to do success first. Its role is going to be alert. And then inside, I'm going to put well done, you did something, but we don't know what. Obviously, you can put whatever you want in there. Maybe if they've tried to sign in and they've incorrectly signed in, you could put that in there. So we're just going to copy and paste this. As I say, it's a much to change. The only main thing that you need to change is this right here. I'm going to change this to info, but we're also going to change the text inside so it matches the actual type of alert that you display. Now we're going to say, make sure you do this whatever it is. And we're going to put another one. And we're going to change this one to warning. So this could happen, like I said, if you try and sign in, but you're not activated, but your account does exist. And for here, we're just going to put, this is a low warning. So please don't poke uh, me in my eye. It's a very nice thing to do. Then the final one is well, danger. And for this, you could be put. You could put something. If let's say you try to sign in, your account just doesn't exist, or the password is wrong. So I was going to put you will be deleted. Yes, yeah, so I want to see if you can get that reference. You will be deleted. So let's just open this up in our web browser so you can see the four different alerts. There you go, we have four alerts. They have styling, they have color, which is obviously part of the styling, and they re respond very nicely when you resize. That's it, that's the core foundations to alerts. Then next tutorial will cover dismissible alerts. At the moment, there's no way to get rid of them. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.